Who's that? From some of the most terrifying moments to the creepiest atmosphere to the most bizarre looking scary nuns. The Nun had it all, but after years of waiting, there's finally a sequel in the works called The Nun 2. That said, I can't start this video without talking about when the film is coming out. Hello? What is it you want? But before I get into that, I have to fill some of you in on the recent state of affairs regarding the property itself. Recently, Warner Bros. and Discovery have merged into a single company called Warner Bros. Discovery Inc. While that is exciting news for some people, especially considering the changes that all of their properties are going through right now, it's to be noticed that now both properties are owned directly under the CEO, David Zaslav. And while they may have canceled the Batgirl film that so many people People we're looking forward to, these changes are great news for horror fans. Are you the Reverend Mother? I am. You haven't taken your vows yet. Since you're finally getting a sequel to The Nun. At least, that's what their latest film announcement had to show for itself. Though most of it was full of even more superhero movies, they gave out a release date for the upcoming horror film. Even better news is that the film isn't that far off. The company finally gave out a release date for it, and you can expect to see the film on screens near you on the 8th of September, 2023. Alice? As requested, we're here to speak with the nuns. That is, if delays don't hit, as they've done with a lot of films in recent years. But it looks like that isn't going to be the case here. On the other hand, the sequel would be coming out five whole years after the events of the first film. I did. No one responded. But then again, in the two years I've been delivering supplies, she was the first nun I'd seen. That could affect the story if they decide to count that in, which they should just for continuity reasons. But with the release coming closer with each passing moment, is there a trailer out for it yet? You'd think there would be at least a trailer out for it since it's coming out soon. But sadly, that's not the case this time. But there's some hope in knowing that they're almost done with its production phase. So there could be some good news about a trailer coming out soon. You can't deny that a trailer would help answer some of the questions fans have about the sequel. The biggest of the bunch has to be whether it will continue on from the first film or be a completely separate film in the same universe. Speaking of that, here's what to expect from the film's plot. I fear her presence means the portal has opened again. It made Sister Victoria commit the ultimate sin. Sister Juana. While any proper details about the plot aren't really out yet, there is a lot that you can pick from hints dropped by the film's creators. The biggest of the bunch has to be from taking a look at the actors that have been cast for the film. The sequel will supposedly have a few people returning from the original film. Forgive us. We're highly protective of our privacy. This time, the film is going to take place in France rather than Romania, unlike the first one. But what's even more intriguing is that out of nowhere, there's a murder of a priest, with Sister Irene going over to check it out. And lo and behold, she finds out that Valak is once again behind everything and goes on to stop him. So your favorite characters are going to be in it for sure. And supposedly, the film will take place four years after the original film's events. I'll take picked up in 1956. You can expect more details about the plot to come out the closer the film actually gets to its release date. But until then, the crew is going to have to figure out a few things. The biggest of which is how exactly they're going to be able to tie it in with the overarching story of the Conjuring universe. Not just that, but they need to give you some idea of what's been going on in the meantime with Valak. 
especially since he was in the second Conjuring. On the other hand, here's a look at the cast. You can expect any film from the Conjuring franchise to have an incredible cast, and this time is the same, especially since Thaisa Farmiga is coming back to play her iconic role as Sister Irene in the sequel. Joining her as Maurice Theroux is Jonas Bloquette. Hearing that already gets me so excited about it. There is some sad news. It seems like Father Burke isn't going to be played by Demen Bashir anymore. But on the bright side, at least the original actor for Valak from the first film, Bonnie Ahrens, is coming back. It really wouldn't be the same without him as the villain. No one could pull it off as well. But wait, there's even more good news. Storm Reed, the very same actor from both The Suicide Squad and Euphoria, is coming into the mix as a lead role, though there aren't many details about who she's playing yet. And finally, Caitlin Rose Downey plays Sophie, while Anna Popplewell plays the school teacher Kate. With that said, you can expect an appearance from your favorite spirit hunting duo, The Warrens, played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. Along with that, there have been updates about who's going to be working behind the camera. This one might ring some alarms for bad news for fans out there, while it may be good news for some too. But the original writer and director from the first film are not going to be coming up to reprise their roles in the sequel. The roles were first filled by Corinne Hardy as the director, and the film was written by Gary Doberman. This time, things are going to be pretty different, and that might just be for the best. But Michael Cage the very same one who worked on the third Conjuring film, under, of course, James Wan himself, is going to be working as the director. On the other hand, Akila Cooper is going to be behind the screenplay. Considering that James Wan is why the franchise has been so successful, he, along with Peter Safran, will co-produce the film. So you can for sure expect the same magic that you know and love to be a thing in the film. And finally, how are they going to turn it into another franchise? The first film was set in the 1950s, way out in Romania. Both the main characters start investigating the suicide of a nun when they stumble across an evil entity. The two then have to figure out a way to defeat the entity called Valak in order to restore peace. But it turns out that Valak is still out and about and could even be stronger this time. It's going to be set in France and is New Line Cinema's attempt at turning the nun films into a third franchise. This could mean that they also intend to connect it to the main Conjuring franchise. Especially since you already know that they exist in the same universe, it's very likely that that'll happen. The most obvious way they could go for that is simply by connecting Valak to the demon from the main franchise. If I'm being honest, that could also explain a lot in both franchises. So it might just work out. James Wan talked about the sequel, saying that at the moment, they don't know how they're going to connect them. But they've done it before and intend to make everything come back full circle. The answer to that is probably staring right at your faces. But all you can really do is wait for the film to come out for some solid answers. That's been a look at all you need to know about The Nun 2.